everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I'm back this week with the edit. I hope you've had a lovely week. You're feeling, well, maybe you're settling down to do a bit of sewing today. Um, apologies about the bunged upness. Um, hay fever season is upon me, so I'm going to be like this for the next six weeks. And um, anyone who is living through hay fever season, I'm with, I, I, I feel your pain. Um, before I get going, I'm sure a few of you are all part of the Sewing Weekend this weekend. If you haven't got your ticket, you can still actually buy tickets until this evening. We thought we'd leave them open for the weekend. So if you've heard all about it and you're feeling like you'd actually like to kind of join, you still can. The tickets are available up until this evening, so you'd have to kind of get them today. But you can watch all the content at your leisure. There's no rush to do it, so it's there if you want it. Right, sewing patterns this week. It's actually been, guys, I can't believe it. We've had a quiet week, which I don't think we've had for maybe two months. Um, it's been nuts, just so many new releases, but this week, a sense of calm, there aren't loads. But the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is probably, I'm sure many of you have received it already. I'm sorry I didn't talk about this last week. It was mainly because I hadn't arrived in the post yet, but the new Fibre Mood magazine has arrived. Um, I love this one, particularly at this time of year. It just feels like like their spring kind of issue is always a really popular one because everyone is now like, yes, let's go, let's make some stuff, some summery stuff, and it's a really lovely one. So very quickly, if you haven't come across Fibre Mood before, it's a pattern magazine. It's got twelve patterns. Um, the size range, let me just double check, is UK 6 to 30 for all the patterns included. And there are variations on quite a few of the patterns, so there's lots of different options. Um, the front of the magazine is laid out a bit like a magazine, so you can see the garments. Actually, this is one of my favourite tops. You can see the garments laid out. This one is called the Quiller Top. I thought it was really interesting. So if I come... Maybe if I zoom in on this purple one, can you see that bit of gathering underneath the armpit? It's a bit like that um, matchy matchy top that we were talking about a few weeks ago, um, which means it adds quite a lot of volume in a good place, especially for bigger boobed people. Um, this is, I thought was really cleverly cut. So yeah, so the front has everything laid out like this. The patterns are in the middle and you do need to trace them off. They are kind of overlapping each other. And then at the back are the instructions and you can download from their website more detailed instructions because the instructions in the back are kind of picture step by steps. Um, and there's just so many lovely patterns. Um, the other one that I was really think is amazing is a sort of wrap style dress. I know lots of people have been really, really loving it. I think it's beautiful. Perfect for like a summer wedding. Um, I also really liked, it's really simple, um, this sort of dress. I thought it was really nice. I really like the panels at the front of it as well. And I thought that'd be really lovely like to wear if you're going on some holiday. I thought this would be really nice to wear as sort of a beach cover up. And then the cover one, which is this amazing kind of ruffle, which is caught into the seam. It's really interesting. So there are loads and loads of great patterns in there this season. Um, I'll pop a link to everything I'm talking about down below and especially the five move one because you can go and see all the patterns and see whether it's your thing. So with Fibre Mood, um, when the new um, magazine is released, they then release all the PDFs from the last magazine. So if you didn't buy last magazine and there were a couple of patterns that you were kind of, that were winking at you, they're now available. So I will pop a link so you can see all of them, but there are two which were my favourite from last season and I just thought, you know, if you haven't seen them, these, these are pretty good. So the first one, is the Fibre Mood Gabriella Body Warmer. I thought this was a really useful item for spring. Lots and lots of these sort of waistcoat um, patterns around at the moment, and there are also quite a lot of them on the high street. So if we have a look at the um, pattern, you can see it's got really nice, deep, I really like the shape of it. So you can see that sort of curved seam around the front, and I really like that the pockets are sort of echoed, echo the seam, which I think is a really nice little detail. There's a seam across the middle of your chest, 
And then there are optional little ties that you can have to tie it at the front. I thought it would be a really nice option actually for scrap busting. I think you could get rid of some of the things that you're kind of bored of, or like you've got, you know, a meter of fabric sitting around that you haven't been able to use. And I really like the version they've done, the kind of quilted version, but you could totally make this for winter as well. If you're the other side of the world, and you're heading into winter, you could do this in a really nice wool. So the other dress that was um, floating my boat is the Judy dress. So I thought this one was would be really popular for summer. You can make it in different lengths. It's really nice and loose. I know a lot of people have made comments about talking about sack dresses, but a lot of people, myself included, love that shape. I just think it suits loads of people. So the interesting thing about it is it's got this kind of um, shaped, de shaped um, seam line around the waist. So let me show you the line drawing so you can see. Um, which I think is really lovely and I think it adds a bit of interest to the silhouette. Um, it's got big statement sleeves. I think you can make this in loads of different fabrics. I think it'd be really a dress that you get quite a lot of wear out of this summer. So if you're looking for a summer dress, this to me is a great one. So moving on from Fibre Mood, we have got a really nice simple pair of shorts from Fieldwork Patterns. These come in a size UK 6 to 24. It's really funny, we've had so many releases of, of these type of shorts in the last few weeks. Has anyone noticed? There's been loads of them. Um, so, very simple pair of shorts, elasticated waist, it's got pockets in the side seam. You could whip this up, these up in an, a couple of hours. They're really nice and simple. The leg shape looks nice as well, it's kind of not kind of wide but not too wide. There are pop patch pockets you can put on the back as well. And again, another good one for the old scrap busting. So those are our shorts. So last but not least, we have got how to do fashions Hanover trousers. These come in a size UK 6 to 30. I was really excited about these. I think they're quite interesting. If I show you the line drawing, they kind of look a bit boring, but they've actually got quite interesting details that you don't see in trousers very often. They're based on a pair of, on a 60 shape of trouser. So the really lovely detail on it is this sort of tulip shaped hem you can see at the front. And the way that they can make that happen is by having a seam up the center front of your leg, which is quite unusual in modern trousers, in vintage trousers, they did this in women's trousers quite a bit. Um, I really like it. It's got quite a big chunky waistband. There's obviously an option for you to cut a straight hem at the bottom so you don't have that tulip shape, but I think that's the thing that makes it really interesting. They're sort of um, ankle length, which again, quite kind of 60s, and yeah, they're just great. So if you are looking for a pair of trousers and you're a vintage lover, these might be worth checking out. So that is it from me. I hope you are having a lovely weekend and don't forget if you want so weekend tickets, today is the last day to get them and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.